the Lord. And I just support that by looking at uh, it's, it's Romans chapter 4, verses uh, 17. Um, and the second clause of the same verse whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead and called those things which be not as though they were. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, as I think about this word tonight, I look at myself in this Christian pathway. Um, it's, a, it's a journey for every one of us. Praise the name of the Lord. Is that right? Yes. It's a journey for every one of us. And as we progress on in this journey, um, there are a lot of things that will come in our pathway to cause us to be distracted from the hope that God has called us unto. Praise the name of the Lord. And against the background of the lesson, we understand that uh, the people of God were just out of 70 years captivity. And possibly in their, in their mind and their spirit, they thought that, well, God was through with them. It doesn't matter what we're going through tonight. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. the Lord. But there's always hope. Oh, oh praise the name of the Lord. Um, doesn't matter what the enemy is saying, but there's always hope. Praise the name of the Lord. And I am quite sure tonight that we, are, we, we, we have been in situations where we, we, we feel like we were captives. Praise the name of the Lord. And in our spirit, it's like our spirit was incarcerated. And we feel like that there's not going to be another day of sunshine in our life. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Is telling us about the children of Israel, but we can very much apply this to our lives today. And God is saying, For I know the thoughts I think towards you. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. God is omniscient, and there's nothing that God that is hidden from God that God sees about us. Praise the name of the Lord. From where we're born, God sees us from, from, from the from the from the big stage to the cradle. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And He knows that whatever situation is going to come to our lives, he knows about it. Oh, praise God. So he knows and he thinks about us. Oh, praise God. And the Bible says he loaded us with benefits and God has promised us an expected end. It doesn't matter what the enemy is saying tonight. I'm just going to encourage somebody. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. It doesn't matter what might, might be happening in our lives. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. But we have got to have an assurance that that we're not going to go under, but we're going over. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. We're not going, uh, oh praise the Lord. We're not going to be victims, but we're going to be victors. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. We're not going to be losers, but we're going to be winners. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. So we have got to understand tonight that God has destined for us an expected end. He has given us a background of hope. Yes. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. He has given us a background where we can look at it. Oh, praise God. And be comforted that everything is going to be all right. It doesn't matter what the enemy is saying tonight. It doesn't matter what dogs are showing our way. But we've got to hold firm and believe that everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. Somebody said, I've got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. Oh, God. The verse 12 said, Then shall he call upon me, 
Yes. Oh, hallelujah. And God declaring and decrees, oh, praise God, that there is going to be an expected end for the people of God. Sometimes, oh, hallelujah, when I think of my struggles, oh, praise God, I think sometimes when my struggle is going to end, oh, praise the name of the Lord, because I'm struggling all year long, but God has given us a comforting word that one of these days, our struggles are going to come to end. I wish I had Oh, praise God. Or try to suspend you. Or try to, to, to follow. 
what the enemy is doing. He's trying to dry us out and dry us up. That you don't have a praise. Trust me, you know what I realize? The only thing that can activate the praise of God in us. If we don't pray, Brother Raja, automatically we're going to be living at the pump. We are going to depend on the moderators of pump you up. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Say hallelujah. So praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. But we've got to learn in these times. Say this is where all victory is. We've got to learn in these times. So no matter how we feel, I heard Brother, brother testify about the pain, but he still made it impress his way. And the devil would, 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 would mind to stay home. Hallelujah. Because he knows that the victory is in the house. Oh, hallelujah. This is why we should not forsake of ourselves together. But the moment you enter into his gates, the Bible says we should enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. There's power in praise. There's victory in praise. We can bring down walls in praise. The Bible says the children of Israel, they marked around Jericho and there was a praise on their lips. There was a praise in their heart. And the Bible says they shouted. Hallelujah. And the wall the walls came down. Come on, touch your neighbor who need to bring down the walls. Bring down the walls. Bring down the walls. Bring down the walls. Walls of segregation. Walls of conflict. Walls, walls, walls of isms and schisms. For the glory of God. If we're going to see the glory. Come on, church. We're talking about an expected end. Hallelujah.